Welcome to today's vlog. So we are sitting outside right now because it is absolutely beautiful out here. Sorry, the lighting is the way that it is. But we are sitting outside right now because like I said, it's beautiful and he's in the swing and this is the only way he's content. If he's ever upset, all I have to do is bring him outside. And finally, the weather is nice enough to where I can bring him outside. In Texas right now, it is 67 with a high of 69. So it is super sunny and beautiful and I love it. And I really wanna go to the park. But for me to go to the park, I have to get in the car and drive. And I don't know what time Anthony's gonna be home. I think he's supposed to get off at two and it's 1.50 right now. So I guess we'll find out in like, 10 or, in like 10 or 15 minutes. I don't know what his deal is with doing that scream every single time I'm recording. But if you're wearing headphones, I'm so sorry. But anyways, yeah, welcome to today's vlog. Um, today in this video, I plan to rearrange Elias's room. I was supposed to do it in the last video. But it just got way too long. It's not like the worst. Like it's really just like toys everywhere. So like it's not dirty. But I just want to rearrange it. Because the way that it's arranged is like it kind of just doesn't really make sense to me. That's pretty much it. Right now we're just outside swinging. <laughs> hanging out. Screaming apparently. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Yeah! Hey. Hi. He's too distracted by the camera. He was literally just laughing. You're so handsome. I love you. Yeah. I love you so much. So I have decided that I am going to go get my car washed. But um, I just got an Amazon package, so we're going to open it. It's a hoodie. Well, it's a jacket. And I'm really hoping that it's good quality. Because fun fact about me is that I never have on my own clothes. It's always my husband's or some friends that end up leaving clothes here and then I end up wearing it because I like it. And then that's just how the story goes. So I decided that instead of wearing all of my husband's um, Half zip or quarter zips, half zips, whatever you want to call it. Um, and hoodies. I mean, clearly, it says dad. I'm doing it right now. Um, I decided to order my own. Ooh, it feels soft. Okay, so this is what I got. This is actually kind of oversized, but I think it's gonna be okay. I got a size medium, and this is by the brand Trendy Queen. This is what she looks like. Um. It is still oversized. It's literally the same size as if I was wearing my husband's clothes. But I mean, it's mine, it's cute, it's brown, it's whatever, so, okay. I'm also wearing biker shorts from Laura's Boutique. Bubba, please stop for screaming, dude. And then two 70s that my brother got me for Christmas. This is what they look like. We're gonna get in the car and go wash my car because it is, it's horrendous. I don't think, I, I literally think it's been a solid six months since I've washed my car. So yeah, we're gonna go do that. Going through car washes are always scary because you literally can't see anything. Like what if someone is like gonna kill me or something? I don't know. Analyze was screaming, so now I'm in a car wash feeding him. I really hope you guys can hear me. Oh, I just dropped the bottle. Okay. So we're back home now, and I decided to give Elias a peanut butter and jelly, right? Because he was really hungry. Whatever. This, look at this boy. You got such a mess going on. You're so cute, yeah. Yeah. Messy boy, look at those fingers, look at those. Oh my gosh, oh, it's all in his chair. Oh no, he just grabbed the camera. You're lucky you're cute, boy. 
I love you. I hope it's so, 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 so yummy. You want more? Oh my, not the snort, dude. No, don't touch me. Oh my gosh. I just made the executive decision to cut curtain bangs. I don't know why, but I just want something different, okay? I, my, I need to get my hair done, all right? It is very not done. <laughs> I mean, I haven't dyed it since like my gender re Oh no, actually I box dyed it with you guys. And that was the last time. And I really need to get my hair dyed, it's bad. Really bad. I look weird right now. Holy cow. Also, ignore my hands, okay? My eczema's flaring up. I'm letting it go through the course instead of, like, loading it with, like, vitamin E oil and stuff like that. So, ignore my hands, okay? They're in the process of healing. So, mind your business, I. Right? So, I'm basically just going to take... I'm going to start maybe, like, right here. And then I'm going to kind of go in, like, a triangle to the front of my ear. So I have my two sections going down the middle and then like so. So now I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to gather it and bring it to this side. All my baby hairs are right here that are growing so it's like thin in the middle and then thick on each side. All right Skylar just do it. Wait do I go straight across? I'm scared to let go. So there's that. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna. I think I have regrets. My hair is like flipping this way right now, so I look like a freaking rocker or something. Okay, well, there's no going back now. Okay, see, there's potential. When I like blow dry it and everything, there's potential. Do you see? Do you see the potential? Look at how much hair is right there. I really just did that. Am I going through like a midlife crisis? Like, what's happening right now? Okay, so I think where I fucked up on this side is I cut it straight across and I should have cut it at an angle. Watch one side look way better than the other. Yeah, this side is way better. Okay, so how can I fix? Can I even fix this side? I think it's too. Oh my god. This is scary. Okay, now I need to like blend it with the rest of my hair. I am me just going ham. I kind of look emo. Okay, I'm gonna go and basically give myself a blowout um, and then I will be right back, okay? Okay, are y'all ready? I don't, I don't like them. Like they're not terrible, but for like how they're cut, you see? Like that's not bad to be honest. I think I just did too much, you know? Not like too much lengthwise, but too much like if I was to take off, say like that much, doesn't that look like a lot better than having like all of this? I don't hate them, but I don't love them. Yeah, I'm gonna like do my eyebrows and stuff and then see what happens. I also pinned my hair back because this way, like it's not the worst, but my hair is not done. Uh-oh. Elias is waking up. Okay, I'm gonna go tend to him. Hopefully these grow on me because right now... It's a no for me.
but we'll just see what happens. We'll see how they grow and see what happens. So I feel like I look like one of those like frat boys or something. You know what I mean? Literally like Anthony's little brother. <laughs> R.I.P. to all my hair. Love that for me. Into the trash you go. But look who woke up. Good morning. Definitely not morning, but good morning from your nap. What's wrong? You need to eat some applesauce? <gasps> you want some applesauce? Okay, come on. Okay, so I got ready. My hair's just in a claw clip. And I curled them. Don't love them. Don't necessarily hate them, but don't love them. I think they need to grow a little bit because this one is uneven from this one. Like, this one's a little bit longer, but I like how this one is more than I like this one. But the way that my hair grows, it's going to be like... It's going to grow out really quick, so I'm really not worried about it. Um, and I also tried to, like, leave some of it out. Not out, but, like, not down i guess so i try to leave some of it like pulled back so yeah this is where we are um like i said don't love it don't hate it so yeah elias is taking a nap but he's teething so so bad right now so um i was supposed to start sleep training today but i don't know how that's gonna go since his teeth are hurting him so bad like he has one that's literally cutting through like right now so yeah he's been needing a little bit of extra attention so i feel so bad one more dog food for you nasty that's gross that's why mom always has up the baby gate and i forgot to put it up so elias was in his room playing and then he got really, really quiet all of a sudden. And y'all know what happens when a kid gets quiet. Some is, some, they doing something they ain't supposed to. So then I remembered, oh, I didn't put up the baby gate. I should probably go do that. So I went to go check on him. And this little boy was in the hallway eating dog food. Like, look, okay, this is his room. There's the baby gate that, I, that was leaning up against this wall because I forgot. And there's the dog food. He was sitting right there. Tearing up the dog food. Okay, so um, Elias is watching Miss Rachel, so this is, I'm just gonna talk a little bit and then you're gonna get like a little montage, okay, of what I'm about to do. But I'm about to redo Elias's bedroom, so I'm gonna give you a before and then an after, okay? Okay, ready, go. So I have two dilemmas, all right, so. One, he has this big jumper right here um, that takes up a lot of space. I can like make it like kind of flat, but I would have to like tuck it behind something and I don't want him to pull it on himself. And he also uses it almost every day. Also, um, that table. So that table eventually will go where that chair is, but I can't put the table there until we take the chair out and I don't want to take the chair out until he knows how to go to sleep on his own. Because what we've been using is that yoga ball and my back hurts from that yoga ball, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm moving that chair in here and I think I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, deflate the yoga ball. Even though he loves it, we're really gonna try and sleep train him soon to get him to fall asleep on his own because we rock him to sleep with milk every single night and then he wakes up, expecting us to rock him to sleep again over and over and over and I, I also need to bolt the little toy bin and the bookshelf to the wall but anthony's brain is has like a built-in stud finder so i'm gonna let him do that so i don't have to use wall anchors and all that kind of stuff so yeah but other than that i mean it looks a lot better i feel like this makes way more sense now than what it was because it was just too like messy and cluttered i guess so i don't know but anyways that's his room i'm gonna go feed him and tend to him and see what i can do because he literally has not stopped screaming even I've like given him milk, I've tried holding him, I've literally tried everything and he still just does that scream. So I have no idea what's going on. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to sit down and just play with him and just see if I can entertain him. So, okay. okay, so I don't know if this is like a little bit TMI or not, but I feel like um, a lot of moms watch me. So I have actually been potty training Elias since he was four months old. So basically when he was four months old, 
Um, we took away his pacifier. We started potty training um, and all that kind of stuff because that's whenever they really start to like understand like what's going on, I guess, or like they are aware of more of their surroundings. But anyways, so um, let me just show you guys the little toilet. And the reason why I bring this up is because he literally just went number two in the potty um and it literally looks like a regular toilet um it flushes like a toilet and let me just show it to you guys real quick so he uses it like pretty much every single time that he goes hold on let me give him another snack real quick while i show you guys okay so i got this at target it's the summer brand this is like the inside potty that like if you weren't to use liners this is what they would go in and then you just take this out to clean it um so yeah i put liners which I keep in here, but basically I got a hundred pack of these liners on Amazon for just a couple of bucks. I can list it in my Amazon for you guys. And yeah, but let me show you guys how I put it on. So now it has the plastic liner inside of here. And then this is the seat um, that goes on top of it. Um, so that way, whenever he uses the restroom, number one or number two, I just take this off, take the liner and throw it out like it's a trash can rather than having to clean and scrub that every single time. Literally the like 110% worth it. Um, it also teaches them that like clearly this looks like a normal toilet. This is what a toilet looks like. Um, so it's not, I got one that's not like themed, um, like for example, like Paw Patrol or something like that. I got one like that because I feel like if he gets one that looks like a normal toilet, it's like you're using the restroom. It's not a toy. It's not whatever. Like it's literally just for using the restroom. Um, uh, and the reason why I started potty training him at such an early age is because, um, I figured I would teach him that poop and pee belongs in the toilet, it doesn't belong in his diaper. So I didn't want to teach him that it belongs in his diaper and then him have to unlearn that and then learn to go into the potty. It has like a flusher and everything. So it literally teaches them the entire thing. So how I started to get him to use the potty is anytime I would notice that he's like grunting and pushing and just getting like, like he's clearly about to use the restroom or trying to use the restroom. I tell him, hold on potty, hold on potty, hold on potty. And then I take him into the restroom, obviously take off his clothes, whatever, sit him on the potty and I sit with him. And I kind of lean him forward a little bit because that position also helps them to use the restroom. Same way like how we would use a squatty potty, do you see? Now every single time that I say, um, hold on potty, he literally stops what he's doing and I like he lets me take him to the restroom and as soon as he touches butt to that seat, he's using the restroom, so that's amazing. Of course, I can't catch him like going pee and stuff like that, but I would much rather change a number one diaper than a number two diaper. So, uh, obviously, we still have to change him um, if he goes in his diaper, like sometimes, like if we don't catch it, if we're out in public, and no, he does not get in trouble for it because he's not at the age to where he should like only be going in the potty. I'm just proud that he does it at the amount of times that he does. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like it's not common nowadays for like people to potty train their kids at such a young age this is your sign to go start potty training your kid if you're a new mom or if you have a little one he does so good on it too like he doesn't mind it at all <laughs>